Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. That's going to drop down there. I'm going to need to put... Yeah, I'm going to need to put a middle section in here somewhere. So that one's going to go right there. And it's going to go there like that. Perfect. So now I can bring this over. And... Can I bring it over to that bit there? About that point. Put you in. Wait a minute. <laughs> I already did it. I've already got the resin going through. I did this before. I'm such a fool. I brought it. I, I, t I extended it off the top there. I'm actually thinking that my new line might be better than this line that I've gone and brought in here. So let's get rid of these pipes. Bit of a waste of resin that I've got in these pipes, but it's not a huge amount. Because if I bring it along the bottom rather than along here, it's like these got some quite long pipelines. And also, I want to keep it away from that ore. I think that would be better. I can't believe I went and did that. Yes, I can. I can easily believe I went and did that. So we can get rid of all of that. And then we can come over this way. And have that one out, and you, and that one over there, and then I've got this one, which is the new one, which I'll put there. Right. In order to be able to make these things craft, I just need normal assembling machines. Right, well, that's easy enough. So we will start right at the top up here. I will ignore that bit. I'll bring them over here a little bit. 10, I think. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'll go in here and I will select Angel's Components Blue Boards. There, right. So I've. That one's going to want to come around that way, around like that. And I'm going to have two ingredients coming in. So we've got the liquid resin coming in and the glass fiber. And then I'll have the blue boards coming out. So I'm actually going to want that one up the top. And also the ingredients coming in along the top as well. So that's going to go up by another one. It's going to be there like that. And then the outfeed one is going to be there like that. I will have a single outfeed and I will have a single infeed. Yes, the belt will be there. Uh... Two glass fiber and a liquid resin. A two second craft time. So that should be fine with the short pickup and long drop off. It's not ideal doing that, but it will work. And then I put three pipes like that. And that's everything I need. I'll do the electric poles afterwards. So what I'll do here is I will copy that bit out. And then we'll just paste it in here like this. And I'll just have my robots come along and fit everything in. One, two, three. Yeah, there's enough. One, two, three. And there go my robots again. So if I right-click on here and have a look... We've hardly used any power at all. So power is staying, is, is properly keeping up with everything that we want in here. We don't seem to have any issues with the power supply. I'm going to bring that one up to here, like this. And there. And then we'll just leave it as a regular pipe. So you're going to do that. So there's the infeed for that one. And I need the glass fiber. That's going to be a requester chest. I have a few of those left now. 
all that many. We can just run the glass fiber along here, and that's going to be one, two of those. Power pole, well within the limits of that. And then I go along here like this. Just copy and paste that in, so that will re request 22. I think we'll go for a few more than that. I think we'll go for a thousand of them down here, just to make sure that we have got enough coming in. And then we will go along here and I will do a power pole every second one of these. And do the same down through here as well. Right, and then I will go over to this side, extend that out a little bit more. We bring one of these in here, which will go that side like that. And I have one of them next to it there i'll put a power pole here like that and then i will go one two like this that's going to be picking up the finished products as they are dumped out onto the line so i've got that bit done next we want to go to the blue circuit boards in here craft i need three gilded copper wire a blue board and some cupric chloride or i can do option two which is copper plate silver plate blue board and ferric chloride now, ferric chloride, I'm pretty sure I'm actually already making that. I'm making something for some of the other boards. There, what have we got here? Oh, I've got the cupric chloride over here. That is coming up from over here. How far away am I making this stuff? That's there. All the way up here. <laughs> and out along the big line of pipes there. And head up. There we go. More going up this way. And there we go. Right. So there's the ferric chloride that I'm making in here. Hydrogen chloride gas in there. So the other stuff that I want to make then. Craft and ferric chloride. This one requires iron ore and hydrogen gas. So I've got the copper ore right in there. So I can do either ore. I, it, you, I can choose which one I want to make. But if I do this, I've got to go to all the effort of making gold. So that I can have gilded copper wire. And at the moment, I think it's actually going to be quicker if we do it this other way. So all of this cupric chloride is wonderful stuff. I have got the hydrogen chloride there already, so it would probably be a good idea if we made it over this side and then piped it all the way round the map like we've already done with the other. So if I go there, ferric chloride, hydrogen chloride gas, and iron ore. So I've got that bit coming in there, which is being made up here, which is being made up from all of this down here. Where's the nearest iron ore that I'm pulling out in order to do this? That's the next question. Where am I bringing some iron ore from? Because the copper ore, I'm bringing that from here. That's coming from this storage over here. But I'm using the iron ore. The iron ore gets used up faster than the other. And that is where our slight issue comes in, isn't it? That is getting that balance. There is the iron ore. And I'm using every single little bit of it. Although, admittedly, you're not going to be using a huge amount, are you? Not not for what we would have in mind here. Now, Sapphire Ore, i got 4.3 million left in there. And I'm not going through it. I'm, I'm using every single bit. Like, the, every single bit of it is being used there. i got Sapphire Ore over this side. And I am using this up, although it's definitely slowed down because of the slow rate that we're putting this in here. I don't have a lot of room in any of these warehouses. I've got like one warehouse here. 
And it's just full... Like, I've got all this stone. What am I going to do with all this stone? I need to do something with this stone. That's what we need to do. Uh, let me just quickly go into the resource. To, would it be a good idea if... Usage. There are... F slag slurry. I need to... Calcium chloride. Stone. Mineralized water. I can make a little bit really want to be turning it into slag slurry using the sulfuric acid and turning as much of that into slag slurry as I can. How much slag slurry have I got up this way? Tanks full of the stuff. And I'm doing that just using slag. I'm not using the mineral. So all this stone I've got. It might be an idea if I go and try and do something with that. So I'm going to need to... Oh, we need to head over this way anyway. We got, we're going to have to start making the ferric chloride. So I've got the hydrogen chloride over there already. All i got to do is start using a bit of the um, iron ore that I'm producing. And I can get a little bit more iron ore over that side if I increase the amount of storage space that I've got for the stone or I start processing the stone that I've got there into something else. So I think we'll build a little facility over there that is going to turn some of that stone into some um, landfill because landfill is something that we need to use a lot of anyway and like to be honest the amount of stone that we've got there, I think we can spare a little bit now. It's, it's, about, it's about time we got rid of something. <laughs> Look, this, this is absolutely ridiculous. So I, I need to get rid of some of this. I've got to get rid of some of this stone so that this can speed up a little bit. We need this to be able to go faster so that then I can get some of this ore out and I can do exactly the same as I got here, but making ferric chloride instead of cupric chloride. Simples. So we can, first of all, get rid of that and that up through there like that. Uh, you can come out as well and, and I'll pop in that one. And then I'll go over here and I'll dump those in there so that's out of the way. Right, well that's a good start. It's a very, very good start. So now I want to start... Start working on this. So what have I got here? Everything goes in that direction. The way that I've set this up, everything ends up coming over to here. Oh! Up to that one. To that one. And then it goes out to there. So the way I've got this set is everything ends up coming into this one chest over here. That's not going to work for me. So we might change this around a bit. Well, there's the coolant. That means that we can do the strand casting level 2. Let's get that one going. We may be glad of that. So it's all going in that direction. This comes down here, and then it heads all the way around there, and all goes up that way. kind of want it to go in the opposite direction to that now and I want to haul some of it out this way. So I mean we can keep some of this as this stone just as a backup, as a reserve. So we could leave that bit there and those, that sort of out that way and heading over there. So this one let's get rid of those two and then have this one Going down into there, which is sort of cycling it around that way. And then this bit here is going to be separated. So it only goes into these. That one comes off of the main infeed chest that we've got there. And then it goes over and it feeds that one for when and if I need that stone. Um, this way I don't have to come back over and do stuff with it later. So that one can drop in there like that. And I'm going to do three of them. And I'll put in an extra one of these. This one is going to go like that. So I'm turning them round now. They're going there. It's going to go that way. 
And so is that. They're, they're all heading into that one down there. That's what we want. And you. Let's put... Two more in that one. There. So what we got is we got four going into here, four into this one, four into this one, and four into this one. And then it splits. We have threes coming out this side and twos coming out that side. That's fine. So I, I've got stuff going everywhere and it all ends up in this one. That's, that's long story short, is it all ends up in this one. So we can pull it out of that one now and we can start doing something with it. So we'll go one, two, three... And four we'll put, and then that one can come up there like that. And we can actually go over here like this. It could even do this, you know, and head this way. And then it can run all the way back over to there like that. And then I can take this and I've got stone here. So that one, I'm going to turn it into stone. We're going to go there, stone, that's the recipe. And two crushed stone becomes one stone. And then the next recipe is got to go in up there. In order for everything to fit. Unless I change that, I could change this around. Just move that one. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look in a second. Uh, have a look in there. 20 stone becomes one landfill. All right. Let's change this around a bit then. So that one will go up by one. And I'll just do a line of these all the way along here like this. I'm going to come out of there. And we put in feed, out feed, just like that. I'll put two of them together. And then I will put that one and that one up there. And then I'll have a belt which will run that way like that. So it's going to head back over this side slightly. And I'm going to put something out over there. I want to put the recipes in here. So there's got to be stone in there and stone in there. And then I can go with copy. And I can copy that little slice right there and go boom. Like that, so that'll put out the recipe and it'll put out the, just the other little bits that I've got going on here. And then that one, and then that one. Right, the joy of robots, they're absolutely brilliant. So we've got that bit there, so there's the stone coming out to that bit there at the moment. Which I can come down here. And I can go one, two, three, four, like that. And then I can take this one and I'm going to put a near side offset. And I'm going to do it the same with that one. And then I'm going to go there like that. And that's going to start putting stone out onto this belt. Which in turn is allowing this to run a little bit faster. Which is letting that run faster. Which is eating up this faster. Uh, which is giving us more iron ore. That's what the, the whole idea is that I get more iron ore coming through it. So the stone is now coming up onto this bit. I can remove that one pole there. I'm going to just move it up a little bit. Not getting rid of it. This will be brought out over here like this. And I will go one and two. How fast is this? It's a half second crafting time. So I'll only need two of these. I will put six of those down there like that. I probably won't need that many. Uh, I'll put one in the middle there and one in the middle there. And then we'll do that. And then I'll have one, two, like that. With an outfeed on it. And then I now want to go and build more warehouses. Power tech. Uh, logistics. Warehouse. In order to make more of them, I need some more bricks. 
Let's make one warehouse for a minute and put it down. And then I will go and get bricks. So we'll put that in there. There's two times landfill that I just picked up. So with three of these on here, it would actually be better if some of these were placing on the opposite side of the belt. So we will do that a minute. Yeah, like that. That will allow them to run through a little bit quicker. And then these can pick them up as fast as they need to. And the speed that they make the landfill is quite impressive anyway. So we don't need to worry about that. So we're now turning stone into landfill. So this one here takes two crushed stone and makes one stone. And then it takes 20 of them. So every 40 of these will now become one of those over there. So, I mean, in theory, that's 40 warehouses to fill up that one warehouse over there. So, I don't really need a lot more warehouses for this. Not at the moment, anyway. One thing that I will do, just on the side of this warehouse over here, is I will put one of those down there like that. I will have... One of these, and I will have one, two of them, and put in a power pole. So the robots can access the storage over here. That's going to work out perfectly. Right. That's all of them running, and I cannot put it out onto this belt any faster, but I am now taking it out of this storage system faster than it is being put into this storage system anyway, so it's all good. I've only got 16 power poles left, so I'll take a couple of them. Uh, electronics blocks, I'll take that little stack that I've got there. The reds are fine. Pipes, let's have another lot. Uh, pretty good for everything else, I think. Just build in that stack. And... Yep, I'm pretty good for everything else. Okay, uh, map. Let's. Okay, I've got the supply marked on here anyway, so it was just uh, one more thing that I want to check. So now that I've got that bit going, which means that we've increased the speed that this is operating at, I've got ore sorting facility level 2 over here right now. I am not able to make the level 3 ones yet, so that's going to stay here at the level 2. My problem now is that the ore is slowing down. It's the iron ore. It's nothing else. It's the iron ore that is stopping things from moving out through. And that is because the iron itself is not coming through. If we have a look up through this way. They're both coming in. Oh yeah, they're both coming in onto this one. They're feeding onto that single belt. And then they're moving up through there. And moving into that bit. So I'm going to have to split that off. So that then I can bring the belt along this way. So I'm going to need to put a splitter in just up there somewhere. I have got underground belts there. So we've got to just split it out and then move it to the side of that. So that's going to have to go up. There, like that. Eight iron ore. Let's dump those. And then that one's going to go out by one. And it's going to come down here. And then we'll start using some underground belts. Bring that one down to here. Actually put an underground one there. And this is going to be above ground to that bit. Let me switch over to these. How far over can we go? There. Right, so we can run that all the way out over to here. I've got the hydrogen over there, so I can just keep running this belt out past just to this point. That will bring me my iron ore. And that in there is a chemical plant. I've got some chemical plants here. There's chemical plant one there. Uh, I've got six running on that one. I'll probably just put five down. Actually, no, I'll put six down. Let's, let's do six. This one I'm going to put this way around. I'm going to put them in line with that one. 
And then we'll do a gap in between them. So it's four, five, and six, like that. And then I can go into here and slag slurry. No water treatment. No petrochem. It's not that one either, is it? What's this? Petroleum jelly in there. Vaseline. I can make Vaseline. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, where's the recipe? There it is. Ferric chloride. Hydrogen chloride and iron ore. Cupric chloride. Copper ore and hydrogen chloride. Excellent. Yeah, it doesn't give anything extra. Okay, that's perfect. That's that's the one that we want. So we can drop that in like that. And then I'm going to get nine tanks. So let me just pop over to the storage over here. Actually, I don't think I've got tanks in this storage. I don't know why I've not got tanks in here. I should have tanks in all. Yes, I do. I have got tanks. So let's leave those behind. I've now got nine tanks. And we will go and make a ferric chloride storage facility i can't quite fit one in there so we'll have to fit it in down underneath down here so just pop it in there like that and one two three like that and then we can put them in there like that fantastic ah that's why i've got these kind of done like this i don't need to like the the infeed bit up here I can just put a straight copper pipe all the way along all of them like that. That's not going to matter in the slightest if I do that. And then I'll run that one down there so that's feeding it. And then the outfeed can, well, it sort of can um, be the same, but it depends how compact I want to make it. And I do want to make it compact, so I'm going to do it like I've done over here. In which case, I don't want it on that one there. And I basically just want to join some of these together like this so we'll do them in pairs like that and then i have that one over to there and then that one over to there like that and that joins them in now this one is the infeed coming in here oh and that's heading off out round so we're gonna have to put another pipe that will go out that side Except I can't, because that goes directly in line with that one, so I have to bring it down from here. That one's going to go to that point, and then to that point, and then we'll put that one in there. So that's going to be the outfeed. I'm going to want an infeed on here. That's going to go over here, because then it's a straight line. That one's going to go up in there like that. I'm going to need a belt. Just going to go up like that. Let's get rid of that one. And uh, that one can go out. And then one, two, three. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.